Hola, amigos. It's been a while since I've been in a car and doing videos. Um, so my dad let me borrow his car for the weekend so that I can go to my dance class that I just uh, started teaching on Saturdays. And uh, I've been wanting to say this message for a long time, but uh, there's just a lot of things that happen when you're at home and you just keep forgetting. But uh, the one thing I wanted to share about politics is uh, you have to look at the symbolisms, you have to look at the codes, you have to ask why. So, excuse me for being sweaty. <laughs> uh, you have to ask why. Why does, why do the Democrats have a donkey? And I said this before in a video I said that there. I believe that there are ties to Palestine when uh, you have the donkey representation for the Democrats. Why? You look at the donkey and you just wonder, like, did they just randomly picked it, or you know? So Joe Biden said that, uh, quote unquote, "Were I a Jew, I'd be a Zionist," and clearly he's telling everybody who he works for what entity he's working for. And Zionism is actually just not, it's not something you want to meddle with, you know. Um, and that's ties to Palestine alone. But the donkey, a lot of folks uh, in Palestine sold donkeys because that was kind of a territory where they're native ground, basically. Where you can, you know, catch a wild donkey and sell it to make money. Um, plain and simple. So the elephant Republicans, you want to think East Indies, you know, uh, the culture of India, or, you know, uh, what is that one? Um, it's like an elephant with six arms, you know, that statue or the, that, the god or goddess that utilizes the elephant. But anyway, I, I was starting to look at it like that, where I'm like, hmm, there's a bigger thing than what meets the eye. You know, it's not just about Trump's personality and, you know, Biden is more calm, so we need to vote Trump out. That's just not, that's not my perception. Um, I think there has been a lot of manipulation going on to make people think that uh, Trump's an evil person because, you know, Zionism wants to take over America. They, they started something. They were infiltrating something with Obama's administration. And then Trump just threw a wrench in the whole system. So that's that. That's just how I look at it. it it's, a, it's a balanced, you know, commentary. I'm not telling anybody to vote for anybody or, you know, which way to go. <clears throat> but I will say that people need to be very, very, very um, precautious about you know, uh, your conscious thought. Why are you choosing somebody? And do you know about the code and symbolisms of the two animal spirits that they're using for, uh, you know, for their uh, political side? Now, you think donkey is more of the Western world, right? Western culture. And a lot of people keep complaining about uh, Western culture. And, um, they say like, oh, you know, it's so sexualized and, you know, Western culture was like the old Babylon, basically. And so we, we want to be a republic because every other country pretty much has a, a dictator and uh, everyone gets what health care. Uh, there's like a relief benefit grants that go to families. Uh, education is free. So America is like the only place where, you know, <laughs> I kind of feel like this whole um, pandemic is just basically um, a stage or a plan to see how socialism works. <laughs> so you have a virus that's legitimate. <laughs> Excuse me. And then you have the, the pandemic, which is a rehearsal. And the rehearsal is... It's really stupid, in, in my opinion. It's just, 
you can't keep people in this position forever. It just, you, <laughs> we're not going to make it the next 10 years if this were a killer virus and you keep everyone separated from each other. It's just, and even if, let's say the virus is still active and we go back to normal, it's still a double-edged sword. So I don't know. But anyway, I just want to say that to you guys and I wish you a good rest of your day and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.